Last episode we left off getting 90 construction and this one we are definitely going to finish it. We're going to get that done and move on to something else. Probably go back to Sepulchre for a while, but uh, let's get right into this. Oh, 91. Nice. Oh, I can't believe I missed it. We are at 92 now. We are halfway to 99. 93. 94. 95 just four more levels to go we are almost done with this grind it, it is it really has not been long at all but uh it's kind of mundane i just sit here and click and click and click but we're almost done d6 oh 97 two more levels to go 98 construction we are so close to the 99 and yeah just a couple more hours it's like less than three hours and we will have 99 construction Super fast skill. This method is like super easy. Really enjoying it so far. Right as we finish this one, we will be done with construction forever. 99 construction. Let's go get that cape. Let's go get it real quick. Really useful. Certainly, I will pay for that. We get this cape. Oh, let's see it. Let's see the emote. Right here. Okay, I don't know if I like this one actually, this one kind of sucks. <laughs> it's I guess it's cool, uh, but the really cool part of this is we get unlimited teleports to the house. Oh, and we get, oh, we get all the yellow teleports too to all the house, that's so good actually. Unlimited teleports to POH though, very nice one to have. Well, if you guys needed a guide on how to spend 80 mil in a couple of days, that was it. That's uh, that's about how much that grind cost me. Actually, probably closer to 85 with all the money I gave to the butler. But, you know, money well spent. Unlimited teleports to the uh, POH and all the portals around Gilinor. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, just a little bit of money gone. But uh, it's fine. 99 is worth it. Big worth. Another long-term goal for this account is I want to get... All the quests. I need to get that quest cape and then eventually do all the achievement diaries, especially the wilderness ones. Very behind on those ones, but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the free to play quests just because they're pretty easy to knock out. We can do that real quick. I got what three left? Yeah, let's go do those real quick. Can we just talk about how long this cutscene is? Like, why did I just have to wait like a five minute period <laughs> for this? quest that's gonna be like the majority of this quest is that cutscene kind of annoying oh I get an emote sick oh lucky me another cutscene this is how how engaging of a quest what oh, would you look at that watch cutscene to finish the quest thank god there's another cutscene and quest completed let's move on to the next one Corsair Co finish Mistlin mystery complete that is all of the Free to play quest done. Um, I guess I could do some of these, but I think I'm just gonna head back to agility for now and get back to Sepulchre. I've kind of been missing it after this grind. Since we're on the topic of quest, if that new update where they gave you more XP for all the master and grandmaster quests, uh, if you come to the Legends Guild, he will give you more XP lamps to put on any skill you want. So I'm gonna put all of these on agility. Agility 22, yeah, because it's it was originally like. 8k or something and now it's 30k per so now you get all this free xp and i'm pre 92 so it's actually a lot of help all right let's get back to agility well i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far uh we're gonna go on a little bit of a farm run and this is this is your reminder every time go do your farm runs i don't care unless you're max unless you got 99 you got the pet go do a farm run just go do a couple trees maybe go do some seaweed just go do it you gotta do house a uh, birdhouse run do that too just do it if you're an Iron Man, do your herb runs. Uh, but I just hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, leave a like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Go follow my socials. Uh, that construction grind took way longer than it should have. I took a lot of breaks, but it was a lot of fun at first, and then it kind of got really boring after you're literally just sitting in the basement of your house, <laughs> clicking in the same spot for 10 hours plus. It yeah, it it got it got stale pretty quick. I'm excited to get back to Sepulcher, but we'll see how long that excitement lasts. Knowing me, I'm gonna burn out pretty quick. Also, like, I've been really enjoying 
uh, what's it called, runecrafting lately, which is weird because it's like my least favorite skill. Actually, I think, now that I'm thinking about it, all these like really fast skills that are super mundane and like bank standy, like construction, herbalore, and even prayer, they're super boring. I just don't know. I don't. I just cannot have fun with them. They're so fast though. Like I kind of just gotta power through them. But prayer, especially, just really just makes me not like this this game. <laughs> I don't know why. It's easy, but it's just so boring. And there's nothing to get better at. You're just standing at the altar and clicking. I feel like I ramble about this every single time, but it is just, oh, grinds my gears, you know. But uh, I'm really hoping that I get this pet for farming before I get to 99 because I really am not I'm really dreading doing my farm runs after 99 I'll probably just do seaweed until hopefully I get it but until then we're just gonna hope in this last like million XP I gotta get I'm gonna get the pet but who knows at this point is not looking too bright I think I'm gonna eventually end up doing the uh, tight farm for my last like 100 to 200k just so I can get the well the hat for one for the uh, master clue step and then also probably auto weed which is probably too late to get auto weed but if I'm gonna have to do post 99 farming for the pet I guess it, it's kind of worth just until I get the pet but I really if I was gonna get it I should have got it like <laughs> a year ago when I started farming <laughs> But that's all right. Never, it's never too late, especially you know if you want to be a completionist account, you got to get all that stuff anyways. Um, yeah, it's you know I'll get there eventually. We'll see. I'm really excited to get all these 99 so I can start pet hunting. That is that's that's my main goal right now. After I get max, I'm gonna just pet hunt like crazy. Probably gonna start with the mole. I really want to do corp, which is like this construction cave is like insanely good for corp. So I'm so glad I got that already. I guess I could do it now. But I'm so focused on getting the 99s that like nothing else. I don't want to do anything else. I have been playing on my group Iron Man lately, which has been kind of fun. I'm, some new videos might be coming out for the group, but uh, I'm the only one that plays anymore, so it's really just like an unofficial Iron Man at this point. But it's fun. I I really do like the Iron Man playstyle, and maybe after I max this account, we might start an Iron Man, or I'll just use my group Iron Man as an Iron Man because. I'm, yeah, like, everybody played it for, like, a day or two and stopped playing, so really, there was not much help. There's one other person that played for a couple weeks. He might eventually come back, and if, you know, if they do end up coming back, I don't mind that. Then we can do group content together, and that'd be a lot of fun, even if my account is way further progressed than theirs. I just completely zoned out and missed that I got 89, but we are getting really close to the 90s, which is pretty cool. I'm excited for that. Since the last time I'm here, I watched, uh, what's his name, JCW, or was it Hebox? One of their episodes on the uh, Sepulchre, and they give a lot of really good tips for Sepulchre, and it, if you haven't seen their, like, speedrun yet, you should definitely check out both of them, honestly. They're both really good, but especially the Sepulchre episode, they give a lot of helpful tips on how to get better at this. So it kind of just slipped my mind, but I do need to upgrade my house. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick over here. This is it. Let's go into build mode. Did that work? What? Build mode. What? You should pick up your follower. Bro, shut up. You're going away forever now. This is your own fault, really. Alright, we're in build mode now. Let's upgrade to the ornate jewelry box. Big. Alright, let's go get all the stuff for this now. Now I can use this to teleport to the Grand Exchange. It's perfect. Where's it at? And there is some weird items you gotta get for the uh, altar. I gotta come up here and talk to is it this guy. Yeah, talk to Elvis and he'll give me a signet. Uh, a symbol. Okay, thank you. Then you gotta talk to Tiss and he gives you an ancient signet. Then you come trade Baba Yaga and you gotta get this. And you gotta go all the way across the whole map to get these things. And even after you get them all, it still costs like another like 5 mil for these things. <laughs> but oh, is it gonna be worth it? Can I just- oh, I can just go- oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh, thank god. I thought I just- I thought I really fucked that up. But yeah, there we go. Occult Altar. Jewelry box. Let's. Ooh, can I? 
Wait. What do I need? Oh, I thought I could just add the spirit tree on top of this. I gotta go... I can't just upgrade this? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, now I just sit back, relax, and wait for this to grow. Then I can finish. And let's just get rid of this. Remove. Build. What? Okay. Alright, I'm back. I got my watering can. Let's... Please, oh, yeah. oh my god, stop, stop, just let me build. But that was a quiz master too and I just missed my stale baguette. Done, done, I think that's everything that I need really. I'm gonna look one more time but I think that's everything. Also made a costume room so I'm gonna go ahead and like get all my junk out of my bank and put it in here and free up just a ton of bank spots. Like all this junk here I can put in there, a lot of this stuff, all these capes can go in there. Just like these whole, these both these tabs are just going to be completely gone. All the extra stuff in here I'm going to sell as well. Uh, just kind of clear up probably like close to a hundred spots. Yeah, I got, I probably just got rid of like 150 bank spaces. Just in all the junk that's in my inventory. I gotta, so I gotta get rid of all this shit. But yeah. All cleaned out now. I mean, there's still a bunch more junk in here, but ah, it's probably fine. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to end the video today. We made quite a bit of, bit of gains this episode, and uh, we're going to try to get even more next time. Uh, I hope to see you guys then. If you haven't already, subscribe so you can see when I post my next video.